everybody and welcome back to English with Dr. Papuri Borua. I am here today before you with another session of uh, which deals with communication. In fact, taking last time's session forward, let me give you some more intricacies related to the concept of communication and how you can communicate very interestingly. So, I am going to introduce you the concept of intonation or what we call the melody of speech. Now, whenever we talk about intonation, there are a few things, a few basic signs. Let's get scientific in a way. Some basic scientific facts that I'm going to tell you today. Say, for instance, when we talk about intonation, we are talking about voice. Where is voice produced in the human speech organ here? Now, this is like your mouth and then you go back. Here we have your windpipe and the footpipe together. On the windpipe, we have two muscular bands of tissue like this which vibrate and when you speak that is voice that is produced and when you speak the vibration is you know sometimes very fast and sometimes less and this vibration is what is known as the pitch all right so different pitches combine to form various patterns of pitch variations or in fact you can say those are different tones that come together to produce the intonation of your speech. In very basic words, let us concentrate on the next slide to give you point wise what they mean. Two vocal cords, as I said, vibrate to produce voice. The vibration happens in various speeds. The frequency of vibration of the vocal cords is called pitch. Different pitches combine to form Patterns of pitch variation which gives the tone. Tone is also the fall and rise of the voice. Tones together constitute the intonation of a language. Now let me tell you about the different types of intonation that are there in the English language. So we have something. Now what intonation as I told you is a combination of different tones. So we have four basic varieties of tones. Those are the falling tone, the rising tone, the fall rise tone and of course the rise fall tone. So we have shown, shown you the different ways in which we show the tones in a language or when you are writing it out from the exam point of view, this is how you show the mark, the symbol of the falling tone, the rising tone, the fall rise tone and the rise fall tone okay so now basically we need to remember a few things first of all like i told you about the last in the last chapter i've talked to you about that that in english the accent is fixed whether you say that word in isolation or you use that word in a sentence and for us now we need to remember that the tone falls on that particular syllable which takes the accent Therefore, accent and tone, both of them will fall on the same syllable, right? So, let me now talk about the first tone, in fact, the falling tone in the next few slides. For now, I would like to tell you from the exam point of view or from usage also, normally we use the first three tones, the falling tone, the rising tone and the fall rise tone. But rise fall tone is rarely used in a way and more dramatic scenes we use it, right? So let us now, when, because we are talking about communication, cons, let us concentrate only on the first three tones. And for today's session, I'll be dealing with the first tone, the falling tone, and tell you instances where you need to use the falling tone. All right. The first instance is whenever you are trying to give a statement which are complete, right? Say, for instance, here, the first one, I have just been promoted. Now, however, I would like to tell you that for the people who are new to phonetics and new to intonation, I just want to tell you that Whenever we are saying a, a sentence, when you are uttering a sentence in English, there are a few words which take the accent or which are told more prominently. Like we, we have to tell the, the personal pronoun I always strongly. It will take an accent. 
others that will take, take an accent are nouns yes no words then the help not the helping verb the main verb right sometimes adjectives and sometimes when you want to emphasize something even pronouns will take the accent of course nouns will forever be accented keeping that in mind let us now move forward to continue with these instances when you use the following tool now if you look at these sentences i have given the following tone on the last word of each sentence normally whenever we are talking when we are talking about statements which are complete the last word or the last uh, word with the accented syllable will take the tone second sentence here let me pronounce that for you good to see you my mom doesn't want to meet you i want to change my house it is going to rain all day today so if we look at it we have two syllables here to and day i am taking two breaths when i am pronouncing today to day counting from the right hand side day will be accented and therefore they will take the falling tone we french should meet more often therefore or takes the accent we are going for a morning walk i think your luggage is lost this is the chocolate bar i wanted now the second instance where use the falling tone wh questions which do not expect an answer did you have lunch who is singing that song what time does the show finish why should he scold me scold me in fact not scold me why should he scold me because it's a falling tone on the me there next instance is normally in commands we use the falling tone pass the salt please don't talk so loud give the boy some medicine where is the nearest mall so it is like the commands we normally use the falling tone and all of them have the tones on the last word or the syllable that is accented that comes towards the end of the sentence another instance where we normally use the falling tone are invitations come over for dinner why don't you come and visit my mother so these are your invitations examples of invitations or exclamations like amazing wonderful what a beautiful day terrible so kind of you this is the recipe book i was looking out for be careful surprising these are exclamations when we normally use the falling tone and in fact uh, the more you use the falling tone the better your speech will sound in these in fact you need to remember these points or these instances when you use this exclam uh, falling tone and that will make your speech more interesting and people will be really really you know interested to listen to you speak one more instance when we use the falling tone is when we use a wh questions where we expect some information to be given like here when are you reaching home tomorrow tomorrow right so that is a falling tone on more because in more we have the accent even if you tell this word tomorrow in isolation tomorrow the more the syllable called more will have the falling tone because it takes the accent there when did you visit your parents last where are you going this vacations the k of the vacations is the accented syllable and hence it will take the falling tone further let us come to sometimes when we are talking about tag questions which force the listener to agree with the speaker then also we use the falling tone and we know we know the answer but we do not we do not want any confirmation we are just like okay they might give the confirmation but actually we know the answer so that particular you know instance we use the falling tone you all are in guwahati aren't you so the tag question part will have the 
falling tone. You have a cute little dog, don't you? See, she thinks she's very beautiful, doesn't she? The kid is a troublemaker, isn't he? You did so well in your exams, didn't you? She can't help it, can she? You stay in Guwahati, don't you? English is easy, isn't it? But I need to take care to tell you that whenever we are talking about tax questions, here we have two tone groups. This one, which is separated by the tag comma that will come in between here, all the commas that will come, will form a separate tone group. I am, however, focusing only on the last part because I want to concentrate on the following tone. You can have a separate tone in the other uh, tone groups there, which come before the, uh, you know, the before the comma there. Therefore, these are the instances where we normally use the following tone. This is for you to really keep these things in mind and try to use them when you speak. And therefore, what will happen in that is that you will come to realize how, how beautifully, uh, you know, musical your speech will become and how people will be interested to communicate with you. I hope you had had a fruitful session today and it will help you to make your speech better. Thank you.